it's hard to remember like what's so important about taking care of ourselves or like being intimate with each other or like because there's that toxic cynicism and shame and stress I'm Galia Binder, and I'm the director and creator of The Affirmative Project, a social practice arts initiative in Western New York. Social practice arts is a particular kind of art that emerged out of the 1990s. It's the art essentially of bringing people together and cultivating relationships and process, and then making a work that's actually reflective of those relationships and process. When I um, talked to Galia about this project, I know she wanted to create this piece that kind of drew on the idea of healing or somehow engaged with art for, for the sake of, of healing of, of the art makers and the audience. And so think more about what, what that means to, to use art as a, as a mode of healing. I'm less interested in the art world and, and much more interested in, in people and in, in healing. I grew up in an alcoholic and abusive home. My, my mom is an alcoholic. I was diagnosed with depression at 13, was self-harming until the age of 20, until my dad died. He died in the plane crash that was in Buffalo. Um, just, just, yeah, being, you know, uh, inappropriately, whatever, touched, you know, as a kid, you know, by a babysitter. It just, it's caused a lot of issues because, you know, when you have that and you don't, have an outlet to kind of express those things, let alone understand what's happening. Yeah, it just, it, it created problems. I served in uh, Iraqi freedom in 2005. I served in Kuwait and in Guam. Before I was diagnosed with PTSD, I self-medicated because I really just didn't. I just thought I was fucking crazy and that the, that the world is crazy. And then, you know, once I started really recognizing after a suicide attempt that like, okay, something else is going on here. Because this definitely isn't me. I relied really heavily on my dad to let me know that like, I was okay after losing that rock. Just, Literally like walking around like you're blind, like you don't know what direction to go and you don't know what's going on. I'm, I don't have time for this right now. I don't have time for this right now. This project was just a kind of impossible effort. And there were so many days and times and sleepless nights when I was like, what the hell am I doing? How can I possibly do this? How? In the world, is this all going to come together? Hey! I can't get down and stuck. I can't get down and stuck. I can't get down. Well, he healing is something that is an action. It's an active process. You're healing. It's a. It's not just something you poof once and it's gone and it's done. And it's a every day. It's an everyday inventory of the world around you and the part you played in it. It's taken years and years and years of training and understanding like what my triggers are, what makes me, when I am depressed, actually realizing, oh shit, <laughs> I'm in the middle of depression right now. <laughs> like, it might take me a month. Like, I'm like, oh, I'm bummed out. But like, once I start realizing the habits that I'm doing, I'm like, oh shit, no, this is what's going on right now. I, I just, I feel like that's what the Affirmative Project kind of brought to mind overall was, um, you know, again, this theme of just being vulnerable. So that's kind of where my healing process began. It started with 
just me seeking that. I really, it, it wasn't the people, it was me just being like, you know what, um, all in or nothing. I gotta figure out the answer to this um, or be miserable. It takes strength to do that. Like people, it's not comfortable. It's, and it has to, it, it doesn't work if you're not authentic. It has to be for you. You need to, it's just like a full encompassing thing. Feeling is intense and we're all taught in one way or another to shut it off or to ignore it or to check out, do something else. Man, to sit there and just feel it, it gives you power, it gives you courage, it gives you strength. It gives, it gives me those things anyway. The Affirmative Project showed me how much of an extension my craft is um, for my healing process. People started to tell me that every time like they left the space or that they were here, like that they, they felt lighter and that they just felt deeply kind of like <laughs> massaged almost, that, that something had been worked out of them. This whole experience has been profoundly healing for me. There's so many people out there like me that think that, you know, like I already knew this from the rooms of AA and through the halls of the VA and different things like, but all the reminders I can get that we're all together, that we all suffer from the same isms and the same struggles and similar traumas. And it's just, it's wild. There's no other really word for it other than like, it's, it's literally life changing. You know, I'm so much happier understanding who I am, what makes me happy, what bothers me, what makes me uncomfortable, the things that upset me, the things that trigger anxiety, and taking the time for myself. It, 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 it was just liberating because it's like, you know what, I trust that, um, I am accepted. Like, this is me being raw. Like, anything else would be a lie. Like, this is who I am. And I think it was very healing. Because I've always felt ashamed about, the, you know, like the past. It's about giving voice to, to people's innermost struggles and just allowing them to express. And to express aesthetically. And to share that with a larger community. 